Hi everyone, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel. If you are new or old here, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you find something you like and hit that little subscribe button if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Uh, today is Friday Reads once again. I am doing Reading Rush right now. This is my first time. So I'm taping this right around midday on Thursday. I was hoping to be able to read my book outside of my house, like visibly outside, but it looks like it's going to rain at any second. So I'm going to make this quick. <laughs> Hope that I can get some pages in before the heavens open up. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about my reading rush books. I'll do that in a separate vlog once it's all done. Vlog. I don't vlog. Video. <laughs> it's all done. Uh, but I have two books I have read outside of that in this last week. The first up is Bloody Lessons by M. Louisa Locke. This is the third in her Victorian, San Francisco Victorian detective-ish cozy mystery series. Uh, it was okay. Uh, it was okay. Thankfully, I've been sleeping much better, so no insomnia. So I... I didn't read this in two nights like I normally would have. This took me probably a month to read it, to read the whole thing. And they're not terribly long, you know, probably close to 300 pages. And this one, we follow Annie, who owns the boarding house. She and Nate, who is her boyfriend, but she's waffling over where, whether to marry him or not because of her ex-husband, who was terrible. Um, so she, one of her new boarders is her boyfriend's younger sister, who's in town. She's a teacher. And her the sister, uh, her best friend, quits her job very suddenly, moves, and then is found dead at the bottom of the staircase at her boarding house, a different boarding house. And they get to the hospital just in time for the girl to say to the sister two words, something like, pushed, not an accident. So that's the main mystery for this one, is to find out who could have pushed and killed the sister's friend. And Laura is the sister's name, which was sort of nice to see someone with my name. Um, so she's involved as well. She gets threatening notes. Some other teachers are getting threatening notes from some mysterious somebody, you know. It was fine. You can read this out of order, I think. I mean, I, you'd be a little lost with who is who and why we care about certain people. Not as much as with most other series, but it was all right. I will read the fourth, fourth one at some point. You know, I, I'm not champing at the bit to get back to it, but this is just a nice, easy, cozy mystery. Cozy-ish mystery. And I like the setting, too. Like early 1900s San Francisco. I like it. So there's that one. And the other one that I read is The Lantern Men by Ellie Griffiths. Finally got this one. Um, so without spoilers, this is the 11th in the Ruth Galloway Forensic Archaeology series. Ruth finds herself uh, having to get involved in a case with Nelson and the crew back in Norfolk. And it's with someone who they have arrested that they think is a serial murderer. So this man was arrested on two mur murders of two women and Nelson is trying to get two more to stick because they're, they look the same, it's the same MO, that kind of thing. So Ruth is not local anymore, but they, people are leaving notes that involve Ruth directly and they insist that Ruth is the one that digs up this certain pub yard and so Ruth is back in it again with everybody else so that mystery over who really killed these women was it the man they think it was was it somebody else he has this weird kind of cohort group around him they're all suspicious and seem shifty <sighs> Ruth and Nelson I mean Ruth is living with Frank and seemingly very happily he and Kate are getting along like gangbusters, that's fine. Nelson is still married to Michelle and baby George is doing well. And But what's what happens with those two and what happens with the mystery? And it was just excellent. I, I would have read it in a whole morning last week. I kept getting phone calls, but 
which was so annoying you're trying to read something quickly you're like oh just please leave me alone uh anyways so this was really really excellent this has to be read in order this series it really really does because there's no way you would know who anybody was i mean or how relationships have changed who was killed who you know who moved I, they're so good i just adore this series and now i have to very impatiently wait another year for the 12th book which had better be coming because otherwise i'm gonna riot or something i swear and that's really it this week uh nothing really came in nothing went out just doing reading rush and mm -hmm, that's about it <laughs> pretty exciting life right um, so for the song this week that has been stuck in my head, I am, there's been a couple, uh, but I'm going to go with Worry by Jack Garrett. He is a British artist. I think it's electronica. I'm not entirely sure what genre of music he makes. I like it. And um, Jack currently lives in Chicago. So this is from his first, I think, major LP, Worry. It gets stuck in my head a lot. It's a total jam. I love it. Uh, so I will link that below if you want to hear what's been bopping in my head the last week or so. And yeah, how are you all doing? Did you guys participate in Reading Rush? Are you participating in Reading Rush? That's the right tense to use if it's currently happening. <laughs> um, I hope you're all staying healthy and having a good week and reading something totally wonderful. Not letting everything get you down. Hard to do sometimes, but life. So anyways, I will talk to you guys very soon in the next one. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.